Hi folks, this is Laura Cooper from the Fine Art Program. I wanted to um, give you uh, just a few insights into the way that we're going to be running the program this summer. We have our um, intensive program, which is a series of classes that are eight weeks, as some of you know, eight weeks that are intensive, but also the other six weeks, which are geared towards your independent art making with consultations. So the classes that we have going on that I think are, are really um, important to supporting what you're doing right now during this pandemic at home in the studios that we have that are very um, much different maybe than what we had a, a, a month or two ago. Um, we're working on, I am working on my kitchen table, um, working on my bed uh, any place I can and I and I know that you folks are as well because I've been seeing it. Um, we're artists and we have to make things so we keep going but having some deadlines and having some access to critiques and having um, some really individualized attention, I think, will help us be able to keep going. And our voices and the way that um, the way that you see this specific period of time without a commercial lens, with a, a sense of um, critical and emotional insight. Um, that's the kind of artwork that I want to see and the kind of artwork that I know that all of you can make. So the classes that we have to support you in that project um, are many. I mean all of them, but I'm just going to call out a few. Um, I wanted to let you know about projects which Jessica Rath is teaching. That's uh, one of our intensives that is geared towards if you have a project that you've been wanting to make but it hasn't fit into a traditional class mode. Um, this is a chance for you to define that project and carry it through um, with your own direction as well as a lot of support and um, and community critique from Jessica and from the other students in the class. Uh, the other class I wanted to talk about is Summer Studio, which Allison Miller is going to be teaching. It's another one in our um, series of intensives. and. This class is just a sort of variation, is one that's really more geared towards keeping you going on, an, on a line of work that you are already familiar with. You've been pushing it, but you want to take it to the next level. You don't want it to stop after last semester's 14-week class is done, or maybe it was from a semester ago and you couldn't keep going with it. This really takes that and says, nope, this is your series of work. You keep, you keep working on it, or establishing a new series that you haven't been able to get to. But again, this is about working on um, a series. And um, Allison is also really thinking about what are the best ways to support you as um, an artist in, in physical isolation right now, even though not in community isolation, because, you know, we're here, Zoom and stuff like that. Um, so there was another class I wanted to, there's many classes I want to let you know about, but another one that I wanted to make sure that you heard from um, from me was that, that there's also going to be a class that's a zero unit class that is really just workshops. And those workshops are going to come from your request. So please um, let us know what it is that you really need. It's called the Home Studio Workshop, and it's about getting your studio in, um, in shape for what you need to do. So any skills, anywhere from technological to DIY handcrafted, anything you need, please let us know and we'll try to make it into a workshop so that you and other students have access to those skills that you need to keep you going on the work that you're continuing to do at home. Um, I'm going to be taking the uh, home printing class. Uh, Tony is going to keep going this summer with printing, but it's going to be all methods you can do at home. I personally need to have something, some sort of input and some sort of framework for continuing to make art. And I, I mean, I'm imagining it's the same for you, but um, I hope to see you in that class. And uh, I think I'll be printmaking in my kitchen. Um, other classes, Field, Olga um, is doing a great job of really thinking about art in isolation and yet this kind of digital territory that we have now. Um, some of you probably already know that that class has always been where Los Angeles is the canvas and the material that um, is the um, is the subject and the and the and the product of the class. Of course, we are all at home now, and we need to be at home to keep ourselves and others safe. Um, but Olga's really given a rethink to that class, 
that um, acknowledges that and also takes a really close examination of what are the digital structures of the institutions and the art world that we're living within so that um, her really insightful analysis and um, level of critique about the world that we find ourselves in right now will be present for that and um, I'm excited about about that too. Uh, there's many other classes feel free to drop me a line. Uh, I can't talk about all of them in this teeny tiny bit of time but I do want to tell you to keep making because um, what you do is important. The, the, the lens that you have of looking at the world that's non-commercial, it's self-motivated, it's individual, it's emotional, it's critical. And that's our culture now and we need it. So please keep making it and we will do everything we can to support you during this uh, strange new world that we find ourselves in for the moment. Okay, thanks folks, see you later.